So be it. I offered you an olive branch, and you knocked it from my hand. Shut up, Templar. Perhaps you'll respond better to the sword. Whoa. Are you threatening us? Do not hold my people at gunpoint. Yes. Mean man. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Okay. Go on. Go on. We can do this. Down. Up, up, up. Come on. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. You, you have killed your last person. You bastard. Oh, no. What have you done? Ensured an end to your schemes. You sought to claim these lands for the Templars. Aye, that we might protect them. What? Do you think that good King George lies awake at night, hoping that no harm comes to his native subjects? Are that the people of the city care one whit about them? I think this is bullshit. The colonists are happy to trade when they need food or shelter or a bit of extra padding for their armies. But when the walls of the city constrict, when there's crops that need soil, when there's... when there's no more enemy to fight, We'll see how kind the people are then. The colonists have no quarrel with the Iroquois. Not yet. But they will. This is the way of the world. Yeah, but you would have destroyed the land anyway. You would have used the land with no regard for them. I could have stopped it. You couldn't have done it? No, you couldn't have done it. I saw it in the future. The whole thing would have burnt. You were killing them. Exactly. Because they would not listen. That's not the reproach, though, is it? It seems... Neither will you. We don't kill people because they can't. They won't listen. That's exactly the mind, like narrow-mindedness of the Templars. Yeah. Oh, good. It's fighting time. Or is it? Let's see what you're made of. Come on, then. Come on. Yeah. Bitches! Ah, no! Come on then. Come on. I will save my people. Go on, people, escape. There we go. Yeah. You can't double team me, guys. That's not how it works. Oh, jeez. Okay, maybe you can. Bitch. Ow. Piss off. Oh, you bastards. Go on, off with you. Yeah. Go on, break your defense and then see how you like that. There. Why are you still here? Go on, off with you. Right, I'm gonna... Oh, this is gonna end in tears. Oh. <laughs> Tea. Medical charts. Shoes. Always need shoes. Brass rings. Weapon handles. Actually, that's quite handy. Flower. Clothing. Medical equipment. Pla plows. Foxtail scarf. And oh, seven hundred fifty. That was quite nice. That was quite nice, everyone. Yeah, it's just rather good. Now I need to pr do a swan dive to escape. Apparently, um, are you all right? Are you just gonna stand there? Oh, well, screw you! Screw you, my friend. Oh, bye. Oh, ah. Oh god. Here we go. Swan dive! Here we go. Now, did that work? Lol. Learn to jump. 
I can. I just have, because you're all completely baffled by me jumping down here. Can you go away? And then I can leave. Gone. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> oh shit, son. Here we go. Now we run. Right, I'm getting out of here. Jump. Many swan dives. Oh, I see. There's a chain. The chain you can use to swan dive. Woo, fuck. There we go. That's, that's, that's how we roll. Uh, T is for Englishman. And I've, I've just ruined the whole thing. But, uh, oh well. Yay, memory six completed. Very messily, but yay. Well done, me. I'm having a swim with my hands open. I'm pretty sure you can't swim with open palms. Dead. And with him the Templar plot to steal the land of my people. But in ending this threat, I have revealed another. Mm. On his body was a letter addressed to John Pitcairn containing orders to root out and destroy Patriot weapons and supplies. Oh. Should he succeed in this, the colonists will oh, be unable I to see. maintain their resistance, and the Templars will surely take control. So long as Pitcairn lives, the danger remains. I need to find him. He needs to die. Yes. Actually, yeah, you're right. I thought it might bring clarity or instill a sense of accomplishment, but all I feel is regret. Oh dear. Hold fast to that. Such sacrifices must never come lightly. I had to do it. This is true. You don't want to get to the point where you don't feel anything. It's a start. But to truly be free of Templar influence, all of them must be dealt with in turn. Yeah. Even your father... I know! Jeez. You speak the words, but do you believe them? I don't think so. Oh, God. Seems we've company. Who? Who is it? Hello? What is it? How did you get to the door faster than me? A request for aid from Paul Revere. Seems the Redcoats are up to something in Boston. Guess you made an impression on the Sons of Liberty. Oh, good. They mistake me for one of their own. Yes. Please tell Mr. Revere he has my sympathies, but I cannot help at present. You might wish to reconsider. Oh. John Pitcairn is mentioned by name. Well, I guess we're going then. Mr. Revere's house in Boston. If you'd like, I can... No, no, I'll get there quicker than you, mate. I'm, f I'm super fast. I'm like a superman. Cause super trooper, that's gonna buy me. Where am I going? Oh. Fast travel, yes. Right, okay. Just run through all the Templars. Are these guys inciting a riot? Can I... Can I make you riot? What are you looking for? Have you dropped something on the floor? Oh, God. Have you dropped her ring? Oh, good job, mate. She's dropped an earring or a contact lens. Or her ring. One of them. These guys are still doing their crops. So full season's gone now, and those tomatoes are still the same. Good job. Hello, Mr. Kitty. Maybe I should have taken a horse, but I seem to recall last time I took a horse, people weren't very happy in this area because the guards were there. It's fine, I'll just run through here. If there's a horse, like, pottering around here, I'll take it. If there's no guards, but there are. Hi, cat. Oh, sodding hell. Let's go this way. Bloody turkeys. No. No turkeys. Right, here we are. Here we are. We're in the place. We're in Boston. My running skills are still pretty damn good. I couldn't do this in real life. It hurts your knees if you do too much running. 
That's why, you know, like athletes end up retiring quite early. Is there any sort of high impact stuff on your knees, like netball and basketball as well? It's all on your knee joints, so you end up having to. I, 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 there were girls at school I went to who were in like the the national teams or whatever the bugger, and that was great for them during their PE sessions because you know they'd be infinitely better than everyone else. But by the time they got to sixth form, some of them was having to see a physiotherapy uh, person like every. Every day. Oh, Paige! Oh, bloody... Oh, did I get it? I think I got it. I got it spazzing out. There we go. Uh, yeah, some of, the, some of the girls in sixth form end up having to see a physiotherapist because their knees were starting to give in because they'd just played netball the whole time. I mean, I, I used to do karate when I was younger as well with one of my best mates and, um... Like, my knees for a bit were a little bit dodgy as a result. They're alright now. If I start doing hardcore running, like Connor style, it's going to end in tears. Which is why the cross trainer is amazing. It was a really, really long detour on what I was trying to say, but that's okay. Come on, Mr. Piebald. I reckon we can go around here. Oh, sorry. Oh, shit. Hello. Hello. Sorry, everyone. God, don't bring a horse down these side streets. Jesus. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm very sorry. But, you know, deal with it. I'm not entirely sure where I'm going. I'm, I'm guessing it's okay to go this way. We must be getting there soon. Oh, God, we're in proper, like, little back alleys now. It's like Victorian land then. Almost. I've been watching a series on, on telly, on BBC, called, uh, is it The Ripper or something? Oh, Jesus Christ. That was a jump. Um, it's based on Victorian London, just after Jack the Ripper. It's it's not bad, actually. I'm quite enjoying it. So if you're a, if you're a BBC user and you uh, have access to either the iPlayer or the channel or, you know, other means that we don't talk about, um, I'd have a look at it. If you like that kind of thing, it's, you might enjoy it. If you like the Sherlock Holmes stuff with um, What's-His-Face... Iron Man. Uh, oh God, Robert Downey Jr. You might enjoy it. Oh my God. Oh. Let's try and not run over everyone, or at least not run over the guards. Yeah, I am. What of it? Oh shit. Come on. Here we go. This is a new place. I don't think I've been here. The northern, northern district. Yeah, the northern district. Yeah, I haven't been here. I'll come back for you. Whoever that, whatever that is. I think this is like the brawls and all that as well. But uh, let's just go with the quest. Ah, Paul Rivers' house. Hang on. Hang on a tick. Hang on a tick. Let's just get off. And investigate this further. There we go. Oh, I can actually just interact with the door. I, it wasn't shining, so I didn't know. Hello. Oh, sorry. I just barged in. Ah, Connor. What a relief. You came. <laughs> Allow me to... Whoa. <laughs> ...to introduce you to William Dawes and Robert Newman. Hi. Your letter said John Pitcairn was here. Aye. He's readying an assault on Lexington. Where Adams and Hancock have taken shelter. After that, he will march on Concord, hoping to destroy our weapons and supplies. You must help us. Um, I'll think about it. And I will put a stop to this. He has dozens, if not hundreds, of soldiers at his command. You cannot hope to match him by yourself. But fear not, for you will not have to. We have an entire army of our own, merely awaiting the order to take up arms. Then you must call upon them. Indeed. You and I will cross the Charles River and rouse the boys. Rouse the boys. William, I need you to take the overland route and do the same. Robert, I need you up in Christchurch. Light the signal 
Two lanterns, our enemy comes by sea. I see, okay. Right, so you're sending everyone out, you're gonna raise your army, and then we're gonna have a fight. No time for dawdling, my friend. Stop touching me. Come on. 